In this video, we're going to tell you the difference between the German Shepherd and the Rottweiler. German Shepherds are loving, loyal, and one of the most popular dog breeds in the world. But so are Rottweilers. Rottweilers are brave, strong, they're super smart, and courageous as well. So we'll compare the two between their temperament, size, lifespan, training requirements, and exercise to find out which dog is best for you. First, we wanted to remind you about our friends at Native Pet. Check out Native Pet's YouTube channel where they talk about all things pet nutrition and even share some tasty recipes like these pineapple ice cream dog treats. The link to get started is in the description to their YouTube channel and to their website where you can get 20% off. Now let's compare and contrast the German Shepherd to the Rottweiler. We'll first start with their temperaments. We first compare the temperament between the German Shepherd and the Rottweiler. We'll start with the German Shepherd. Their temperament is loving, loyal, smart, affectionate, brave. They can do so many things and they're so versatile. They can be a great family pet, just hang out with the family, but they can also be in police and military. This is because they're so incredibly smart. So if you get a German Shepherd and bring one home, just know they need a strong leader, direction, and they will be an outstanding dog. As for the Rottweiler, they're very similar. They're gentle, they're fun, they're loving, and they too are super intelligent. Both of these dogs get a bad rap for being protective and aggressive, when really they're very gentle, great with family members, and they only get aggressive and protective when they need to be when they think something's up. Next, we'll compare the appearance between the German Shepherd and the Rottweiler. Both of these dogs are considered large dogs. They can be anywhere from 100 to 125 pounds. As for colors, the German Shepherd is one that looks different because they can be all white, all black, brown, sable, a combination of it all. Whereas a Rottweiler is going to typically look the same. They're going to have a big head. They're going to be black on their tops, brown around their feet, chest, and nose, and Rottweilers have that silky coat, whereas German Shepherds have a little bit longer of a coat at times or can have a longer coat. But both of these guys are big dogs. They have iconic looks. They can be anywhere from 100 to 125 pounds, and we've heard people say anywhere from 140 pounds. These are big dogs. They're considered a large breed, and they both have that iconic look. Next, we'll compare the activity level between the German Shepherd and Rottweiler. We'll start Start with the German Shepherd. Both the German Shepherd and Rottweiler are considered mediumly active dogs, meaning they need exercise of course, but they're not super hyper dogs. If you get them out for a good run, walk, they'll be good for the day. They love to be out with their family, hanging out. They definitely need exercise, but about an hour a day will be just perfect for a German Shepherd. As for the Rottweiler, they too are medium energy dogs. They're nothing like a blue healer that's a go, go, go dog all day. Instead, they just want about an hour a day, a walk, a hike, a run, anything to be out with their owner, playing a little bit, a little bit of fetch will be just perfect for a Rottweiler and they'll be laying around, hanging out with you for the rest of the day. So both of these dogs are perfect if you don't want a high energy in your face dog. They're both medium active dogs that would be perfect for you and your family. Next, we'll compare socialization between the German Shepherd and Rottweiler. Both of these dogs need to be socialized early. When it comes to the German Shepherd, if they get socialized early, they're going to be outstanding dogs. So in order to socialize them, get them around as many other animals, other dogs, people, go to the park, go to different places, go to the vet. Just get this dog out of their element early and often. If you do this, they'll be very successful the rest of their life when they meet new people. Same for the Rottweiler. These are both big, strong dogs that get a bad rap. So if you can get them out and socialized early, they'll be great around other people. So with the Rottweiler, get them out, get them in the car, get them different places, experiencing different things because both of these dogs are really smart and they want to use their brains and be active out seeing the world. So if you can do this with the German Shepherd and Rottweiler, they'll be happy and healthy for a long time to come. Next, we'll compare the lifespan between the German Shepherd and the Rottweiler. First, for the German Shepherd. If this dog gets fed high quality food, gets out and about and is very active and with their owner, then they can live anywhere from 10 to 15 years. German Shepherds do have some medical history with hip dysplasia, but overall, German Shepherds are a generally healthy dog and with good food and exercise, they can live for a long time. Same goes for the Rottweiler. If they're out and about, hanging with their owner, getting a lot of fresh air and exercise, they can live for a long time. 
They can live anywhere from 10 to 15 years just like the German Shepherd. They want to be out with their owner having fun and if you can do this they're going to be a happy healthy dog. We hope you've enjoyed this video all about the Rottweiler and the German Shepherd and we'll see you on the next one.